Okay, so we poured the footings about a week ago, just over a week ago, about a week and a day, and the forms are still on it. So today I'm gonna go ahead and take those off, hopefully run some chalk line out where the ICFs are gonna go, and then start getting the ICFs in place, I think is the plan. So first I gotta pull all those forms out, so I'm gonna get going on that. can measure and mark again and then put that chalk line and we should be straight cool cool, cool. sweet 21 5 inches let me know when you're on it 20 foot 21 foot 5 inches
We left a bunch that we had to cut. So we're gonna have to cut that one. We're gonna have to cut this one. I gotta cut that one real quick and then we're gonna have to cut that one. So I'm gonna cut this one and then do this entire last side. And I'll mark it. We got the ICFs up. I'm gonna walk around and just show you a little bit about how it went together and issues we're gonna have to solve. First thing we did is we ran a string line along where the form's supposed to end at. And then after we did that, we measured in, I think it was six inches or five and a half inches or something. So basically the ICFs have an eight inch core in them. So we're gonna have eight inches of concrete. So we had to figure out how to center this. This whole thing's 13 inches wide because it's two and a half and two and a half. But so it's an eight inch core, 13 inches wide. This is theoretically two feet. So 24 inches minus 13 is what, 11? And half of 11 is five and a half. So we measured five and a half inches in, made a mark, did it on the other side, snapped a chalk line, right? We did that on this first side. Then we squared, measured, and ran a line off this side. Made sure this was at 90 degrees, which it was, and then snapped another line. Then we just worked our way around. And once we got to that corner, we made sure that corner was at 90 degrees. Because if that corner's at 90 degrees and this corner's at 90 degrees, those two are gonna be as well. Each piece is four foot long and 16 inches high. So this whole wall, is four foot high now we had to cut in some places because the corners aren't four foot so basically you start with the corner piece this one ends right here you lay all your blocks out in the perimeter we had to set rebar in the bottom of them so we set rebar right here the next corner piece overlaps that way the two pieces will overlap and then every single one after that just alternates up since these corner pieces aren't exactly four foot, you end up having to cut one of the blocks. The ICFs actually went together really easily. I thought it was gonna take a couple days to get it all done, but once I got the first row down, the second and third row just kind of fell into place. The next step is leveling the forms and then bracing them vertically, and then we're gonna pour concrete. I hope you enjoyed this video, um, and I'll see you guys next time. Are you guys adding?